Well, what does your medicine cabinet look like? It's probably filled with ibuprofen, cough medicine, Tums, even insect repellent. Well, many people are replacing those items with something more natural. In tonight's Health Watch, a look at essential oils. Can a mist diffusing into the air dry up allergies? Can a sniff off a tiny bottle clear your sinuses? These women are here to find out. This is a doTERRA essential oils party. Diane Roberson sells the oils after seeing the benefits firsthand. I felt like I was getting some bursitis. I rubbed on some cypress. I can lift my arm again. You know, it's great. She uses frankincense, peppermint, and wintergreen for migraines, melaleuca for ear infections, and... The oil wintergreen has um, a compound methyl salicylate that you find as um, an analgesic to help pain. Patricia Moore has even lost weight using doTERRA's Slim and Sassy. Put a couple drops every time I fill up my water bottle, and I just drink it throughout the day, and I'm actually losing weight, which is really awesome because it's been really hard for me to lose weight up until now. How much weight have you lost, can I ask? 26 pounds. <laughs> Essential oil parties are happening all over Northern Nevada, but the medical community is also taking notice. Northern Nevada Medical Center started a pilot program a few weeks ago. So what do you diffuse in the ICU? So right now we're, we're diffusing primarily citrus. Kayleen Opperman is the director of critical care. She sees the difference essential oils make on her staff. They're less stressed, more focused, and that makes for a better patient experience. Leah Leonard Steckline is the director of behavioral health. She diffuses lavender and lemon on her floor. She sees the benefit in her patients, most of whom have Alzheimer's. And there's some preliminary research to suggest that uh, some of the essential oils and aromatherapy reduce agitation in our patients. Oils that have been around since the days of Cleopatra in the city of Petra are now making a huge comeback in the modern world.